My name is Jody Nelson. I'm 33 years old from San Clemente, California. This is my story. When I was younger, my mom got diagnosed with breast cancer, and it was a super scary time for me and my family. Um, thankfully, because of technology and amazing doctors, my mom's a cancer survivor. I now have one of my dearest friends who's battling breast cancer, and she's been battling off and on for the last 11 and a half years. And uh, recently they found three new tumors in her brain. Uh, she actually has the same exact doctor that my mom had, that, that uh, you know, Dr. Link, he helped cure my mom, and he is working on many different ways um, for my, my really good friend to uh, help get rid of all the cancer in her body. The best thing that I can, my best advice for you is just, when you have a friend or a loved one going through cancer, the best thing you can do for them is just be there for them. Um, I'm always available for my friend going to chemo appointments, cyber knife appointments, um, no matter what it is. Try and just be there sitting by her side and, and create some sort of normalcy while she's sitting there getting toxins pumped through her veins. I, I mean, every day she's being asked by different people, oh, how are you? you know, how's the cancer? It's like, really, she doesn't want to talk about that stuff. And, you know, everybody's different, but I just try and make my friend laugh and, and just make life feel normal, as normal as you possibly can. And, um, you know, it's just it's just hard when, when you have a loved one going through cancer. And, and my advice to young people is just to have an active lifestyle and, and know your body. Um, that's what I try and do is, and thankfully to foundations like Keep a Breast that educate young people how to give self breast examinations and what to look for and what's normal, what's not normal. You know, that's really important. It's important to, to help educate your friends and have them go on the Keep a Breast Foundation um, website and educate themselves. There's also many different ingredients and in, in, um, products that you can avoid and all that's on Keep a Breast Foundation site as well. Now, if we were to listen to the government, we wouldn't be getting mammograms until we're 40. Well, I don't know about you, but I know a lot of my friends that have been diagnosed with cancer before the age of 40. So it's important to be active um, and just be knowledgeable about how you can detect cancer at an earlier stage because you have a better chance when you detect it earlier.